Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and this is um, an update to something that I talked about in the past that is uh, worth mentioning. And uh, it's a website called haveibeenpawned.com. So, um, of course, there's uh, a lot of uh, people that, you know, uh, talked about it. I had a lot of comments on this. Um, the first I want to address is, you know, there's tons of people saying, well, yeah, of course, uh, you know, you're giving us a site where you got to, we got to enter our email. Yeah, the best way to be, you know, it's the best way to be hacked. Well, just giving an email is not enough to be hacked. And then, by the way, your email is public. Every time you type an email, every time you send an email, you are sending something public. It's available everywhere. It's scooped up everywhere. It's um, a comment that is, uh, you know, not important because it doesn't matter. Your emails are everywhere. What this website is, and it's a known website, and it's been there for quite a while now, and even browsers have extensions that use this, including, including Google Chrome, to check out if you're safe or not. So what this website is all about is to tell you if your email and personal information that goes with it could have been compromised somewhere. And there's a lot of misunderstanding of my last video because people think that, uh, oh, I changed my password. One of the comments today was, I changed my password. It still says I'm pawned. It will always say you're pawned. It doesn't, what, what it tells you is you should change your, your, your password. You should change your information. That's it. But it's telling you, and it will always tell you that that email has been scooped up with personal details and websites. So I'll give you an example here. Let's go to, uh, I'll enter my email that I use all the time. And of course, I've been pawned and I will have been pawned for sure. Here you go. So here is what it says. Four breached sites had this email. Dailymotion, uh, Dropbox, LinkedIn. And here there's a thing called verifications.io. That's in February 2019. It's an email validation service that suffered a data breach. So what does that mean? That means that if you are and have entered that email and created an account on those websites, your email and personal information about you have been compromised. So here it tells you what you have as um, problems. So Daily Motion says 85 million users accounts includes email address, usernames, and bcrypt hashed passwords. So that means if you are using the same password everywhere, well, that breach means that everywhere they have information, they have that information. Uh, same for uh, Dropbox, passwords and email address. Once again, LinkedIn, passwords, email address. Let's go down. Uh, Verification.io, date of birth, email address, employers, gender, geographic, location, IP address, job titles, name, phone numbers, physical address. This is huge. A lot of information in here. So this means that your personal data has been compromised. So the first thing you should do if you enter an email and it tells you you've been pawned is to change the password and make sure you put a different password everywhere, not use the same password everywhere. That's very, very important. Okay. And once you have changed, this is not going to change because it doesn't change the status that you have been pawned in the past, but by changing your uh, passwords by activating two-factor authentication, you are protecting yourself from that problem. It's not going to revert, you know, reverse engineer the problem and, and you're going to be okay suddenly. You're okay by doing these steps. But if you re-enter your email, it's still going to say that in the past, that email and some personal info was stolen. And that's it. It's all that you need to know. So if you use the same passwords, you know that this, you know, if you got pawned, this is dangerous because that password now, they know it. 
you got to change it everywhere. So it's very important to just understand that. And if you change your password, uh, activate two-factor authentication on websites, you'll be okay. And honestly, the, the big majority of people, if you've had accounts in different websites over the years, the big majority of people that will enter their email here, it will be in, you know, showing up as bin pond. Simply change your passwords and do two-factor authentication. You'll be okay. You know, you'll be okay. As long as you do these steps. So, you know, don't go crazy over the fact that you've been pawned. Change your details, you'll be fine. And there's no worries to have if you've done at least the steps to protect yourself. So uh, I'll post a link to this website where you can actually enter your email and see if your personal accounts or personal details could have been scooped up somewhere. Um, so it's kind of important to know. And just act accordingly, of course, change the passwords to the websites that have been, uh, you know, if you're still using, for example, Dropbox here, if I, I'm not using Dropbox anymore, but if, if Dropbox would be something that I use, I, you know, would have changed my, uh, my email. LinkedIn, I don't use anymore, but, you know, I would have changed my password, not my email, but my passwords and all of that. So, you know, it's uh, just important to know that uh, all of that's happening. And if you're not, if you are, you know, be one of those that don't do a lot and that just, you know, have a, uh, use a uh, regular, uh, you know, email and don't really subscribe too much, yeah, it's possible that you're not been pawned and that will show up as green. And that's even better because that means that uh, no personal details have been actually uh, stolen from some website. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.